angry guy here and welcome to crypto daily so let's just jump into it we've got a bunch of things to talk about everything ranging from uh, AT&T not accepting payments in crypto as well as a crypto stealing app on the Google App Store but let's jump into the first story so May 22nd was Bitcoin pizza day and basically it's the story of how a hungry Florida man made crypto history so many of you may or may not know this story but nine years ago on May 22nd so May 22nd 2010 the first ever Bitcoin transaction for a consumer product took place after a Florida man spent 10,000 BTC on two pizzas since then, the cryptocurrency enthusiasts across the globe have celebrated Bitcoin Pizza Day, not because the man in question paid 10,000 BTC, but because at the time, the said transaction represented a milestone for Bitcoin adoption. So while buying pizza with Bitcoin today doesn't seem too far-fetched, I can assure you it was relatively a big deal at the time because no merchant accepted the cryptocurrency as payment. On May 22nd, 2010, programmer Laszlo Hayaz paid a fellow Bitcoin talk forum, the main gathering place for Bitcoiners at the time, which it really still is, uh, a user 10,000 BTC in exchange for two Papa John's pizzas. At the time when Bitcoin was a little over a year old, the amount paid equated to $40, approximately $40. So this is how it went. <clears throat> Heya says, I'll pay 10,000 bitcoins for a couple of pieces, like maybe two large ones so I have some leftover for the next day. I like having leftover pizza to nibble on later. You can make the pizza yourself and bring it to my house or order it for me from a delivery place. But what I'm aiming for is getting food delivery in exchange for bitcoins where I don't have to order or prepare it myself. Kind of like ordering a breakfast platter at a hotel or something. They just... <laughs> They just bring you something to eat and you're happy. Another user known as Jericho's accepted highest offer to complete the transaction, Hayes sent the Bitcoin to Jericho's, who then ordered the pizza. Highest Bitcoin, highest pizzas have gotten more and more expensive since Bitcoin first burst on the scene. Some nine months after the pizza purchase, Bitcoin hit parity with the US dollar, making the two pizzas worth $10,000. Then one then on the fifth anniversary of Bitcoin Pizza Day, the two pizzas were valued at a amount ordering 2.4 million. Last week, Bitcoin surpassed the $8,000 mark for the first time this year. So if you, <laughs> if you were, t if you were, oh my gosh. If you were to make the same purchase today, you'd have to part with a salivating $80 million. Happy Bitcoin Day! I, you know, like seriously, guys. Whatever new technology is being adopted, it's probably a good reason, like you know, something like this to like don't give it all up, or you know, like just just be kind of conservative. You just never know. But still, you, you know, thanks thanks for taking one for the team, bro. Uh, <clears throat> next in crypto news, a Russian central bank is considering a gold-backed cryptocurrency. Wow. Yes, you heard me right. So. Russia's central bank will consider the use of a gold-backed cryptocurrency to facilitate international settlements, according to a TASS report. Elvira Nabulana, governor of the Bank of Russia, said Thursday that her institution is to review a proposal for the development of the cryptocurrency. As for mutual settlements, we will consider, of course, the proposal on a gold-backed cryptocurrency, but in my opinion, it's more important to develop settlements in national currencies, said the State Duma. She added that fiat currency settlement system within the Euro Eurasian Economic Union are improving and have good dynamics. The news is perhaps surprising as Russia's government has famously been anti-crypto in past years, moving to block foreign exchanges exchange platforms from the country in 2017 and even blocking media sites that covered the topic back in 2015. A minister once said that Russia would never make cryptocurrencies legal. However, the nation has softened its stance somewhat in years with moves to legislate around cryptocurrency starting in 2017. A digital assets bill could be passed this current session of 
the Duma TA, TASS indicates. According to today's report, the bullet said that while it may mull the use of gold-backed cryptocurrency, the central bank is against the use of cryptocurrency in Russia's monetary system. We do not see the possibility that a cryptocurrency, a cryptocurrency could act as a monetary sur surrogate. Definitely not in this part, but they are considering de deploying a, a gold-backed cryptocurrency. So yeah, take, take, take from that what you will. Me personally, I don't like the idea of a gold-backed cryptocurrency, and I'll tell you the reason why I don't like the idea of a gold-backed cryptocurrency. Because with cryptocurrency, the whole idea is scarcity. Bitcoin is not backed by scare. It's not backed by gold. It's backed by scarcity. It's backed by those who supply and demand. All right. But when you start doing something like a gold-backed cryptocurrency, the very moment that it's found out that they don't have the gold on hand to back the cryptocurrency that they've issued, the value of the crypto just boom. It will just you know go downhill overnight. So unless they're saying that okay, well you can actually go and exchange this much this much gold crypto of like the way that you could exchange like um, you know money for silver back in the old days unless they're saying that then i would stay far away from it i think most people would stay far away from it too it's just interesting that the central bank is now talking about deploying their own gold backed cryptocurrency but their fiat isn't backed by anything yet they're like oh fiat's awesome but but fiat's not backed by anything <laughs> All right. In, in other news, mobile carrier AT&T will now accept payments in cryptocurrency. This is a big development and cryptocurrency is taking another step towards the mainstream as mobile carrier AT&T announced it would accept payments in crypto today. According to a release from the company, customers can pay their mobile bills via BitPay when they pay online or in, or in app. BitPay is one of the largest cryptocurrency payment processing firms <laughs> uh, pro processing Bitcoin transactions. AT&T hasn't gone, in all, gone all in yet on crypto, but as of now, the option to pay through BitPay is only extended to build transactions. Though the move may seem positive for crypto user jo users, Joe McCann, a former crypto hedge fund manager at Passable Capital, told the bluff, the move seemed to come out of left field and speculated that perhaps the company has internal data showing more millennials utilizing crypto payments. What upside does AT&T have in supporting crypto payments, he asked. McCann questions the international data may be off base as Kevin McDormand, Vice President of AT&T Communications Finance Business Operations, pointed to customers using cryptocurrency as a reason for extended options. So that's, I mean, whenever large companies are beginning to enter the crypto space and allowing people to use crypto to make payments, that's always a positive thing. I mean, there's like a Starbucks, you can now pay for your coffee at Starbucks, uh, you, as well as a, a bunch of other large stores as well, like a hundred big stores, a hundred stores in general, like by the end of this year, so that's uh, that's definitely something. So guys, yeah, that is uh, that is the end of Crypto Daily. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you're excited that you can finally pay your AT&T bill using uh, using crypto payments, there is one other thing. A crypto stealing app was found on Google Play, and it was downloaded over a thousand times. Now, thankfully, this app has been addressed, and Google has taken that off. So that was the last bit of news. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if if uh, if you're like excited about being able to pay your AT&T bill using crypto. If you think that crypto is going to become a standard for most central banks, and you know, um, and you know, happy Bitcoin Pizza Day to you. All right, angry guy, with your daily crypto news. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't smash the dislike button if you want to help these videos to continue to circulate this channel to continue to grow please definitely share the video love god get money and share